Hi everyone, Mike Haas along with Deuce McAllister from Irvine, California, where the Saints just wrapped up practice 11 off tomorrow, and then we'll practice on Wednesday, Thursday, travel on, on Friday. So Alvin Kamara held out today, just a, a day of rest for him. But I want to talk about him, and that's because we talked about him yesterday, and that was Peyton Turner. And you said, man, son, I don't care what you got to do. You, you get a plate in your shoe as you get back out to practice. He was back out today, and that, that, that says something. Well, it says, you know, I've got to pay to play through pain. I mean, and I think when you look at it, you know, uh, I don't know how bad it is. It's not torn. It's, uh, you know, it's something that he, he, he can fight through and he fought through today. Um, not a lot involved in team stuff, but he was out here doing drills. He worked. Uh, that's what that's what you ask for. And so it's a, it's a step in the right direction for him. Um, and, that, and that's what you have to do. Another one that was out today and expected was Jake Hayner, the quarterback. The 25-year-old had, had an area of cancer that he had removed. He will be out tomorrow then and back to work uh, as he and, and Spencer Rattler, who just walked past us, were are battling for that spot. So Spencer got a ton of reps today, especially uh, Coach Allen talked about for he and Derek Carr in the two-minute end-of-game offense and, and uh, been just cr critical work for him. Well, I think, you know, for Spencer, it's about the reps. And, you know, obviously you're thinking about Jake because that's something that he cannot control. Right. That's a little bit different, you know, from an injury uh, standpoint, uh, you know, basically life and death situation. Yeah. So uh, hopefully uh, prayers and everything went well, uh, you know, but for Spencer, take advantage of the opportunities. You know, normally where I may only get 10 snaps, seven snaps, uh, I, I get 20, I get 14. And so uh, how can I be productive? How can I see different looks that maybe I didn't see earlier? Or if it is a look I saw earlier, maybe not making the same mistake I made, you know, when I was with the twos and I get to do it with the threes. And then just to be able to know that I'm not going to be sitting cold as well and miss, you know, there's there's 20 plays that go by before I get an opportunity. And so uh, you just take advantage of the opportunities. And I think that's all you can do. And it's go back and watch the film and look at it and see how I can improve. So the next day comes, we know it'll be Wednesday. I'm ready to be able to rock and roll and not make those mistakes. And for a rookie quarterback, we talk about this a lot with a variety of positions, with the speed of the game. Mm -hmm. And you hear coaches talking to, to the quarterback, I mean, get it out, get it out. Because I mean, you've, if you wait, that half a beat is it's just too late. Well, it's anticipation as well. And so it's being able to anticipate, hey, this is where I'm supposed to go to the football, understanding what the defense is doing to you, not knowing that, hey, look, if I hold it a tick, then it's it, it's too late. You know, I've got to see it. I've got to understand it. I know where my pressure, you know, comes from. I know where I'm going with the football. And it's just being comfortable. And so that, that, that comes with time, you know, and it's no knock just against a rookie. It happens. I mean, it's things are fast. Things, people move fast. And so, see, Situations happen fast and understanding that there, there's a lot that happens. You know, do I have 11 in a huddle? Did, did I miss a word? You know, can I get my guys lined up? How much, how much time is on the play clock? What is the look? You know, is that safety moving down? You know, and so all of it has, has to happen pre-snap pre and then you go and play football. There's a lot of offensive line, defensive line, and then running backs picking up the, you know, the defender and offensive line passing off the, the blocker. Uh, just, just a lot of just for the for the common eye, I wouldn't be in you know uh, hugely significant, but it is such an important aspect that you saw in in, in, in drills and then you saw it in action and when they got into team. Yeah, I mean it's stunts. There's there's games that are being played, whether it's uh, you know between the linemen and uh, the backs or you know the tight ends. They have to all see it. You know, uh, the situation I think it was two days ago where the back didn't see the blitz. Uh, he was out on the route, but now he's got to convert it because he 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 stayed on his regular path quarterback doesn't have time. I mean, you've got to convert that, you know, and make it a, a hot route, a hot throw, uh, but he continued on. So seeing little stuff like that definitely helps, particularly when you talk about a new offense. But I mean, that's the game within a game. And, you know, uh, for a quarterback, he's got to have a feel for it. I've got to trust my guys to know that they're going to pick it up. And if you don't, then guess what? You're going to see a whole bunch more. A couple of more with Deuce McAllister and Mike Hoss here from Irvine. And that is I just love sitting next to you during practice, but today Mike Carney was here, the fullback, and looks like he could, I mean, he's a, a huge, huge man. brick house. Uh, uh, and just it was fun to listen to you guys and watch, and you're both kind of seeing the same thing. And we're back to talk blocking from a running back position. Uh, yeah, yeah, once you open up that yeah, gate, yeah. it's soft shoulders. It's ole, 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 ole. Yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of times for, with young backs, you catch. And so what that means is you absorb instead of you attacking, you know, and so um, 
opening up the gate. And, and you know, when you hear that, that means you're going, your, your hips are to the sidelines. And anytime that happens, then you've just shortened the angle for the, uh, the defender to be able to get to the quarterback. And so it's just little technique things that as you get older and you're around it, you, you, get, you get better at it. I mean, because you're already strong, you know, you're, you're, you're a powerful player, but it's understanding how to unleash that power. And so he's got veterans in the room, and, you know, particularly some of the young backs, uh, you know, th that'll help him with those things. But, you know, at, at the same time, anytime we can talk to them and just tell them, hey, look, this is what you can do a little bit different, you know, um, uh, expect this, you know, force them this way, be able to direct them with your footwork, with your hands, and then understanding I, I have to use my, my power. I mean, when you talk about power cleaning, that's all it is. I mean, and so being able to use some of those um, weightlifting techniques and understanding where my base has to be, that's what it's about. And the last question, and we don't often talk about, hey, individual performances at practice sometimes, but sometimes guys just jump off the page, and that would be Colin Saunders, uh, defensive tackle, and Willie Gay, mm -hmm. linebacker today. Both of them in that team drill, both of them are disruptive in the backfield, uh, you know, very, very often. Multiple plays. We're not talking just one play. Those guys were able to make multiple plays, uh, you know, and uh, it, it's always good to see when you have some guys that, hey, look, you know, Colin has been here uh, a, a, a couple years, but, you know, Willie, he's making his, his, his making his play known as far as just being able to hit the gap and being able to do some different things, the speed that he has as well. And so both of those guys ha have a chance to make this defense even better. Again, day 11 today in pads. They're off tomorrow. Then the rest of the week as they progress towards leaving for Arizona on Friday with Deuce McAllister, Mike Hoss, and Jeff Nowak. Get all of your Saints coverage on WWLAMFM.com. Always free on the Odyssey app.